Now, the White House today has announced that it will begin to change the rules that were set in place by the Obama White House and allow for more due process for the accused in these cases. USA Today headline reads, what if the accuser is not telling the truth? Colleges rethink sexual assault cases. Here now with more is Robbie Suave, the editor of Reason.com, who wrote about what is happening at Brown today. Robbie, good to see you tonight. Uh, fill us in. Give, give us kind of the, the bullet points of this case. Sure. This is a case that demonstrates exactly why the policies that came to be under the Obama administration for dealing with campus sexual misconduct uh, are, are, are so flawed. This is a young man who was found responsible in a sexual uh, misconduct situation but says that not only was he not a perpetrator, but he was actually a victim, that, uh, that he's, a, he's a black athlete, that the white woman uh, pinned him, she bit him, she choked him, and when he tried to complain about this, administrators weren't interested in what he had to say, and that they sort of manipulated another woman who he had only really uh, made out with con uh, consensually, that she didn't have a problem with it, they kind of manipulated her into offering a testimony against him, and not only uh, his... He was kicked off campus, his grades dropped, he actually uh, attempted suicide. Uh, this was a horrible result for this young man who had no way to, to argue his innocence in this, in this proceeding because of the rules in place under the Obama administration.